Welcome to Northern Thalwell from the top of Cheviot. This is a Montaigne Cheviot goat in the snow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this stunning start line of the Montaigne Cheviot Goat. There we go, Montaigne Cheviot Goat 2022. Good luck, eh? just about at the top of the first two two and a half mile climb I'm not at <laughs> I don't know if you have a look behind us there you might see a line of head torches I don't want to look I don't want to see how close they are lights all over you're just starting to get a tiny bit of light through the clouds there as well. We're about <coughs> seven and a half mile in. Seven mile in, maybe. Um, and it hasn't stopped drizzling yet, so I'm quite annoyed. I was told there was going to be no rain. Well, here we are on Graham's favourite section. Between Kushat and Whipper Ken, as you can see, it has not dried up at all. Not that I expected it to. But at least it's fully daylight now. And uh, you get a good idea of the vastness of where we are. And obviously, it's a little bit of a brow booster. Having the whole world in it little cocoon of light in front of you um, so yeah just get through this nasty boggy section and uh, and hopefully feel a bit better because I don't want at the minute oh and I've just lost my shoe champion that's great that's what I can Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the fun bit. Yeehaw, look at this one. That's the dot in front over there. So we're going to roll off that and uh, end up down the road that comes from Clannell Hall, where we ended Recky 1. And uh, I think Graham might be there with the drone. Graham. How's it looking down there? Hi guys, okay, I'm up here on the Dodd near Clennell and I'm here with the drone. We're gonna try and capture Lee coming down this hill. And uh, I'm gonna try and capture some of the other runners too till the battery runs out on the drone. So, and then I'm gonna move off to Barraburn. So hopefully we'll see Lee soon.
Now, never let it be said that here at Northern Fell Running that we don't give a little bit back to the running community. I've set myself up a little stall here in the Northern Fell Running vehicle. I've got a little stall here. I'm giving out cans of Coke and uh, chocolate bars to anybody that wants one. Just a little, little gift. Hi mate, how you doing? Well done. There's coke or chocolate bars in the back of the car if you want. Oh, Help yourself. Thank you. No problem. So I've just seen Graham at the, at the bottom of the dot there. Stole his gloves because my gloves were soaking. But uh, that's where we're going next. Got that. <coughs> Lovely. Next stop, Barraburn. Sun's well and truly up now. I think I'm about five or six miles outside of Barraburn. Um, if I remember rightly, after this climb I'm doing now, we'll drop down into another valley and then it's just uh, that naughty one up and over to Barraburn. So yeah. Chopping it into little sections, that's what you've got to do. Right. Let's get it done. We're about a mile outside of Barraburn now. And uh, I'm going to have to have a serious thing. Both my knees are tweaked. I just don't think they have recovered properly from the pilgrims. Um, the next 20 miles after this are some of the most remote in the Cheviot so there's no pulling out after this so I'm gonna have to have a think well we're here at Barrowburn here's all the, the drop bags laid out I'm enjoying a nice hot cup of coffee while everybody's freezing their watsits off on the hills so I'm just gonna get some footage of the runners coming in I'm also going to hopefully speak to some of the mountain rescue guys see if we can get shown around some of the equipment that is out here today because they are here en masse looking after everybody today on the Chevia Goat so this is the little entrance flags coming in here that is Barraburn behind me Lee Bowmaker from Northern Fell Running. How are you doing, you alright? Lee's not good. Are you okay? Right then, everybody, um, as the runners are out on the course, uh, we're keen to show you what goes on behind the scenes. So, I am here with. I'm Weston, I'm the equipment officer with North of Time Mountain Rescue Team. Brilliant, and Weston is going to show us round one of the vehicles that's keeping you guys safe. So this is our Mercedes, it's an off-road vehicle but not usually used off-road, it's uh, more of a control vehicle for us but we have got all the kit in and we've got a stretcher in as well. Um, so, now we look inside? Yeah. It's a bit messy at the minute because it's got all the kit in. Um, <laughs> But you can see it's got our computers in the back there. So if anybody got into trouble and they got back in here in a stretcher, we can we can take them back in a stretcher in this vehicle. Okay. Take the, obviously the stretcher will be out because the person will be in the casual will be in the stretcher and there's a hatch there, we can drop the hatch out of there and slide the stretcher in the back of here. And it gets strapped down, and then we've got a, uh, the casualty in the stretcher, and then we've got a medic in there looking after the casualty so in the stretcher. A makeshift case. ambulance, yes, as it were. Yeah, definitely, yeah. And this is all our equipment in the back here. So you've got medical equipment here, oxygen, you've got medical bags, you've got key bags which we take out on searches and things like that, which is they've got, they've got cars bags and sleeping bags, they've got medical kits, and then they've got our stretcher here, and we've also got our, our rope equipment in here, our crag kit stays in the bottom here so we can do vertical and uh, horizontal rescues on the crag right. and we can do lowers down steep slopes if anybody's in trouble and need lower and down steep slopes we've got all the equipment here to do that 
Um, and how many of you are out on the course today? Um, quite a few of you, isn't it? I, I think there's today there's about 10, 15 away and there's a couple of people in control running the show. Right. And then tonight as well, there's people taking over, but there's also people that are staying for the full 24 hours as well. Right. So yeah, there's, I, I would say there's probably 25 people all together this weekend. Okay. For Mountain Rescue. And these guys obviously do a fantastic job. It's all voluntary. It is, yes. And I'm going to put a link down below to yes you have a like a fundraising, fundraising page yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so, all doing it do, all donations are, are really grateful and helpful to us yeah. to run the team because yeah we're, we're that's what we what we run on is, is just donations from the public right but that would be great yeah thank you very so much. if you're watching this video you're probably interested in running you're interested in in the outdoors so it could be you one day that these guys are coming to rescue so <laughs> do consider a little donation uh, I'm sure it'll go a long way. Yeah, thank you very much. So thanks for that, Weston. Yeah, no problem, thanks. Best of luck. So here we are, getting a little bit busier now at Barrowburn. Uh, a lot of runners coming through. Getting a nice hot soup off lovely Sharon. Everybody getting a little bit of a change. Costume change. And away we go. Yeah, so I did have a little wobble. Uh, my knees are bad. Um, but if I slow my pace down, I should be good. I'll be alright. Um, <coughs> like I said earlier on, I'm totally not bothered what position I am. It's matterless now. It's just about getting around. Um, but yeah, just keep moving. Keep moving forward. Windy Kyle next. But how about that, eh? Got a bit of running royalty behind us as well. Sabrina Verdi. Verdi. Correctness. Graham. <coughs> yeah. Oh. So here we are. Well. Just over that fence there is the trick point for Windy Kyle. We don't actually need to go over the fence. We just follow the fence line along the Pennine Way there. So, yeah, not as impressive this time. Well, apart from the view. Looking up the top of Cheviot, there's a light dust and a cloud on the top of there, but it doesn't look too bad. So let's hurry up and get up there and get down before it does get bad, eh? Just a quick trip to Scotland first. Here we go. That way, mate. Oh, that way. Here we are at Cockrow Foot. Uh, means we're roughly halfway now. Got the, the big climb, the back of TV coming up. So let's have a look for what I do. But, yeah, we'll go. Doing all right. Um, don't know what Graham's doing. He's probably sat stuffing his face somewhere. Right, everybody. I am here with Checkpoint team nine. from Hedge Up Hill. Yes. Checkpoint team name. Georgia, just to introduce yourself. So my name's Dean. I'm from. Well, I'm a trainee mountain rescue. Okay. Um, and I'm here for a night on the hill. Uh, my name's Ollie, I live in Burness and I've volunteered. You nutter. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the, these two are going to be on top of Hedge Up and we'll be welcoming our racers coming over the top, checking them in. In the next few hours, hopefully. Just quickly, what, what sort of equipment have you got in your bag? A lot of warm kit. Warm kit. Uh, forecast for temperatures minus 5 to minus 10 tonight. Right. Uh, so tent, sleeping bags, extra warm kit for anybody who goes down stove coffee yeah and that's about it and you're in direct communication with hq yes anybody has a problem yeah they're gonna come and get them on probably yeah. on this track probably. yeah up to head yeah, yeah. yeah up to head shop so we've got probably about four clicks now to get in walk up the head shop so should be fun lovely we'll have a good time well have a great time guys yeah, best of luck thanks for the lift half two in the Thank morning you for the lift. Something you're like welcome that. Yeah. yeah well you come get with no. No. <laughs> I'll be fast asleep. <laughs> Have fun, chaps. No, thank Cheers. you very much, mate. See you in a bit. Super. Cheers. Right, we'll go back to Lee and see where he's at. And there she is. 
after a little brief slushy downpour there. The climb that I've been waiting for. 31 miles in, 27 miles left to go. Let's get it smashed. I'll see you at the top of Chivia. Hold on, pal. There she is. There she is, look. Oh. I love that sight, every time I see her. Top achievement. Let's go. Right, that's it. Can it run on it? It's done. All right. Nah. It's like glass behind my kneecap. Broken glass. Let's get down off here and see how I feel. Spooky. You alright, Paul? Treacherous, yeah, like. Scattering the snow has made everything slippy. But we're on my way down towards the sunlight. Well, what's left of it? I think we've only got about two hours left of it. But well, this knee's shot. If I do keep going, I think I'll be walking less like. Let's see. Let's see how I feel when I get down. Nah, Graham's getting his wish, I'm afraid. Um, because my other knee has been overcompensating for my bad knee, it's just completely locked, I can hardly walk now, so if you're not seeing me get on a head up like this. Um, so the next step is look for an extraction point. There, I've just ran green there, who was speaking to Drew, and I'm gonna get back to this as to where's the closest I can get an evac. So wait on the phone call. Well ladies and gentlemen. The unbelievable has happened. The machine, Lee, has just rang me and he's in great difficulty coming off Cheviot. So, we are gonna have to get a quad to him. He's, he needs rescuing. This is a Northern Phil running first. Lee DNFs. So, they're sending a quad for us, but see that hill? And that hill, and then the one behind it's Bloody Bush Edge. I've still got to get over these two hills to where the road is. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be fun. Let's go. Loads of drama for your video, Graham, eh? I bet you love it, don't you? Well, the drama continues. I've just had a call off Lee. And he's going to keep going. He's not going to DNF now. He's going to try and get the checkpoint two, which is at High Bleak Hope, approximately 42 miles, I think. So if he can get there, 20 miles to home, we'll uh, we'll see what he's what he's doing. So we'll we'll try and keep in touch with him. So fingers crossed. I, I joke that I want him to DNF. I don't really, but um, so come on, Lee, rooting for you. Come on. My knee's freed itself up as I've been walking. My quad's just down there. Yeah, that's where the tents are. I'm not gonna upset Graham. I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna attempt to get to the second checkpoint, which is probably only about another three miles from here. But I've gotta go up bloody bush edge and uh, follow this ridge. Drop down to Salters Road to Bleak Hope Farm. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna give the quad a miss. I'm gonna get myself a checkpoint too. See what time it is, see how I feel. And if I can, 
just get it done. The shame is too much. <laughs> so it's grim. Um, it's probably going to take us a while, but we need to see how it is. It should be fine. Let's have a go. Well, obviously we have our guy Lee out on the course. So yeah, could sure. you bring up the details for number 37, please, Lee Bowmaker? Let's see where Lee is now. Lee is in difficulty at the moment. He said he was going to uh, pull out, but he's decided to stay back in. So he should be around the bloody bush edge area, I think. So yeah, he's just um, past, uh, he's just underneath number 37 there. So he's just uh, past um, that, that checkpoint, blue bush. Okay. So um, he's, uh, he's done the big loop round and he's come round. So he's in the kind of uh, <laughs> top third at the moment. Okay. So he's doing pretty well. Great. Here we are. Here we are on top of the bloody bush edge. And uh, yeah, it's uh, moist. We're losing sunlight now. Um, that's not going to be up for very much longer, is it? But I think we're only about two or three miles away from checkpoint two. Managing to use a bit of the downhills to speed up. But I, know, I might have to I might have to put up with that shame because uh oh well, yeah let's have a look looking over there there's cold low you've got to get up that's next to Coombe Fell then we've got to come back down there and then we'll have to go across and then back up and that big one in the distance there is hedge up we've got to do that as well come all the way back down that up Dunmore down that and then I've got to get around rough floor at the end with my knees being the way they are I know I want to stick it to Graham and still do it but it's probably a little bit silly and um, I'm just going to tap it even more it's going to take longer for them to get better so I'm going to get the checkpoint too and then I'll make a decision well ladies and gentlemen we are back to the original plan. Lee has pulled out, I'm afraid. He, he pulled out just after um, Kushat Law. So he's currently on his way back in a van to Ingram Cafe. So we'll look forward to seeing him, seeing him there. So never mind Lee, I'm sure you'll be back to try again some point in the future. So. Here comes the winner of the Cheviot Goat 2022. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Got your time. Right then, everybody, we're here with Lee. It's happened. Love it, well, I should have I should have really pulled out at, um, at Barabin. That would have been a sensible thing to do when first my knees were wrong, but I wanted it. I wanted it. Smash it. <laughs> I, I, I didn't want you to have the, the moral high ground, basically, you know what I mean? So Look, I did try and go further. You've put me off. through hell for the last two years, okay? Uh, so okay. we've well, always said <coughs> that your DNF is coming. You've still done it more times than me, though. What do you want? <laughs> so, no, I, I don't love that you've DNF'd, but obviously you're going you're gonna to pay for it. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But I think we've, we've said that you're, you're going to come back next year and and do it. That's, too. that's yeah. what I'm that's what I'm most annoyed about, the fact that it was about what, 15, 16 miles away from the end of checkpoint two. That's all I had left, but now I've got fifty-seven miles to do next year instead. <laughs> yeah? No. You, you had a big problem with your knee, so not a wheelie. Well uh, well done for trying. We've had a, we've had a great day up here. So well, well done, Sid, you tried your best. Thanks to Cold Brew Events, they've been yeah. great hosts. Cheers. And uh, click the links down below to find all out about the, uh, the uh, Cold Brew Events and the Chivia Goat. And we will see you on the next video. Lee, 
What do we normally say? Don't forget to like and subscribe. So anybody wondering what it's like to finish the Cheviot Goat, here we go. Yes! Oh, what a feeling. Oh, it's amazing. Classic. Well done, Jordy. First Thanks, yeah, well done mate. Yeah, winner yeah. of the uh, 2022 yes. winter. Uh huh, uh huh. Easy, man. How do you find it? Good. Easy miles for me. I always thought it was easy. Thanks, Drew. Cheers.